man. What have you learned? What has it been like for you? Lay it on us. Yeah, that'd be great to hear what you guys uh, have to say. Uh, it does look like we got the next match. And I... Okay, I, I know about these players. I can't believe they're playing right now. I don't know how far this is in the bracket, but uh, yeah, these are like two of the best players in SoCal going up against each other right now. Got Nico and Void. Oh, yeah. wait, this is mad early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know where this is in the bracket, but it's pretty early. These are like the two people I kind of like expected to be in the top eight to play. Yeah. I'm trying to find the bracket in my 80,000 tabs. When I say 80,000, there's actually at least 30 tabs across two monitors and Discord and a stream. And <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Oh, it's with the slides. Okay. Um, yeah, because this has to be like at least quarters, right? Uh, Maybe. I would assume so. We do have some of the best TOs in the business, so I don't expect them to see them so early to fight each other yeah oh also uh script thank you for this 30 dollar donation i mean script you commentate this weekend you know what's up much love man okay it's quarters dang i oh, got okay. good reads nice <laughs> Didn't much better than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay this should be interesting i've never seen them play each other online but they've had so many sets uh in person mm -hmm. so and do we know if this is a uh, best of five territory yet? Uh, sure. I believe only top eight is best of five. Ah, okay, good to know. At least that's how it was yesterday. But yeah, so what's the like, what's it usually go like between these two? So Void's been getting really good at the matchup um, lately. But uh, last time I saw him play, Nico got the upper hand. It's kind of one of those cases where you know boy can do all these combos and get all this damage but if he struggles to kill like shield art shulk he can just die like super early and uh we see right there immediately getting out of that potential high stream by switching to shield art and getting that uh reversal situation there. you see that a lot but uh one of the things that void's pretty good at in this matchup is, is edge guards are really on point and he's just a really patient player overall so he won't um He'll like bait out the, the shield switches and go for like the appropriate punishes. And there it is. Uh -huh. Opportunity to snipe the jump. Nice uh, work. Yeah. Luckily for him, uh, he does have the shield art, but it's just the nature of Sheik's frame data and uh, Shulk's like start up on his aerials, it tends to help out Void because he can intercept Nico's attacks before he gets to try to set up his offense. It can be pretty overwhelming as you can see right now. Void not really laying up the pressure since the match started. Yeah, I mean, she can kind of do that to a lot of characters, but oh no, he was a smash art. He dug his own dra grave right there, dude. Yeah, man, that's that's just what you come to expect when you see Void play. Yeah. Especially missing a tech in that situation, not what you want to do. I mean, I gotta shout out the fact that she killed like sub 150, like from yeah. coast to coast. <laughs> yeah. Void is one of the Sheik players that like disproves that myth of uh, Sheik not being able to kill a lot of times. Just because he labs out a lot of these kill setups that can just kill really early. Oh, this might hurt. Okay, nice. I think, that, yeah, DI and just ma managed to jump out, but still under a lot of pressure. Tries to use Donato and oh, 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 that, oh boy, that was rude. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> rude but optimal. <laughs> I, I think that just kind of sums up Void's play style yeah. a lot. That was perfect. But once he saw him going low, uh, he could have he could have just like back aired him into the stage. But he saw like, okay, I can get this down air and just guarantee that he doesn't come back. And uh, wow, that was like the most down I've ever seen Void uh, beat Nico. I don't think I've ever seen Void three stock Nico in this game, but. Yeah, wow. that was rough. It was like, I know Nico's an amazing player, but boy, it looked like one of those games a la like Marvel vs. Capcom sometimes where it's like sometimes you just get OCV run over yeah. and it's like, well, okay, <laughs> GG, let's go next game. Yeah, that's actually a really good point to make. <laughs> Both these guys actually played Marvel too, which is funny. Yeah, so, yeah, they know. They know what it's like. Neither of them are really like too ahead of themselves over that, I bet. Yeah. Even after that three stock, like, it, it can go either way. Like I've seen Nico beat Void numerous times. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. 
Yep, and we got confirmation that it's still uh, best of three. So mm. whoever wins, the, or if Void wins this, it's it's game. GG. Yeah, going on to the winner's semis, looking real good. Showing that you know he's he's been playing a lot of Valorant. You know, last gold girls, not, not much Smash, but he, he still got it, man. Yo, Skullgirls actually makes me better at every other fighting game. Yeah, I, feel like I really want to get into Skullgirls if I get the opportunity. It's fun. Yeah, if you get in, let me know. I'll play. Nice. Right, so right now, it looks like Void's able to hold center stage up until that. Yeah, he's going to um, have to really get something going soon because once Nico gets momentum and is just able to force the rules of engagement, he can just start to just wall Void out. It's so much harder for Shiki to get in. Exactly. With all that speed. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we didn't get to see uh, Nico really play that type of like walling play style in the first game, and I think that's why Void had such a good time. But uh, now we can see Nico kind of have his bearings back a little bit, keep Sheik out. Definitely have a much better time this game. Right, Air Slash not going to kill. Luckily, Shield Art reduces the, some of the knockback that Shulk can give out. Nico's, uh, I think Jump Art had enough grip for him to avoid getting three spot up smash there. I'm scared. He's looking for that forward air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a what can you do? Shulk is, there's, it's sometimes it seems like there's not a lot you can do, but there's the Neil Bouncing Fish immediately evening things up. Right, yeah, put some shield art to fill. Yeah, yeah he has out. to switch the shield art in that situation because otherwise it's just like an up air chain for so much percent. Oh, do you wait for the double jump? Nice, just the reverse air slash. Not too hard of an edge guard here to so avoid another opportunity. Sniping the jump again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh man, that was a rough SD. He, he was already in a position where he was going to grab the ledge twice and be in a terrible position, but then he just SD on top of that without doing that much percent either. Yeah, Nico's going to have to play his, play his heart out here, I think. Yeah, I mean, now or never, but Buster running out right there is not something you really want because you need that damage. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Go crazy. Too early. Yeah, I don't blame him though. Smash our fair can be killed super early. Okay, well, it's gonna use a bounce fish to get to center stage. Again, just immediately switch to the shield art. Doesn't want to deal with low, low percent strength from Sheik. Yeah, they hurt so much. And I mean, Nico's doing a good job avoiding Void's win condition, which is just get a single hit right now, get him to like 60, and then it's in, almost insurmountable after that. Oh, nice. Yeah, using the speed art properties to get a little bit extra distance on the pivot cancel F tilt. Take that stock there. Again, opportunity. I was in Buster, I want to rack up that percent. Boy's going to play patient because he doesn't want to give him a free opening. Tech chase here? Oh, man, the get up attack. Right. And I mean, I'm I'm sensing he's gonna go to Smash Art a little bit soon. Like if he can get a couple more hits, just get that bit more damage, just get the Rage, Hail Mary, essentially. Oh, he was going for oh. that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The drag down of Smash is why taking streaks to platform stages is uh, well, I guess Void Streak in particular is very very risky. Is uh, Void's very consistent at hitting that, but uh. Yeah, great stuff. 2-0, Void. Nico also doing really well that second game. I think that SD definitely, definitely cinched things for him there. Yeah. Sure as heck didn't hurt. Well, it hurt Nico. But sure as heck didn't hurt Void. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great stuff. Void going on to the winner's semis. I'm pretty sure we're going to see more of a Nico. If I'm being honest. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. He was one of my picks for, like, top four in this tournament so he's I think he's gonna come through yeah, I'm sure people are always uh, hyped to see Void play I'm uh, one of those people for sure same one of the, one of the most exciting uh, players for sure yeah he just brings a certain amount of electricity to the match and it's like um, it kind of shows how much he labs out the game with popping in his own play Right. Yeah, for sure. 
I had trouble shooting stuff. But guys, thank you all for tuning in. If y'all don't know what this is, this is a fight for our rights charity event put together by so many great people. But shouts to Rio Beat for spearheading this whole operation here. <laughs>